In previous session, we have created different stored procedures to perform the crowd operations like to get all the employees, we created one stored procedure. To read the data based on the ID, we created another stored procedure like this. To perform insert, update, delete operations, we created different stored procedure. This is insert, update and delete. So in today's session, we are going to make a single stored procedure to perform insert and update operations. For that, I am going to create a new stored procedure here. Here I am going to create one new stored procedure. This is my stored procedure name. Here we have to pass parameters. This employee table only we are going to use it for insert and update operations. If you have not seen my previous video how to create a stored procedure in SQL. So please watch my previous video. Here we have to pass all the parameters. First one is ID. The data type is integer. And then I am passing first name. Say worker. Here you have to pass the length of the parameter. and So we have to pass the length of the data type. This is the best practice. And then last name also we have to pass. So these are all the parameters we are going to receive from the user that is from the application these parameters we are expecting to perform the insert or update operation. First we will work it on insert. Before performing insert operation we have to check is there any errors available here for that I will make a big entry. Entry in previous sessions already I explained about this. and begin catch and catch if there is any error then we have to roll back the transaction if there is no error then we have to perform insert operation here for that we have to write a insert query here insert into we have to pass the table name and here I have to pass all the column names which is available in the table so i will copy from here so these are all the columns i required to insert the data Also here we have to pass the values. Values we can take it from input parameter. So I can copy these things. So before inserting we have to start begin transaction then end transaction so this is the insert query which we are going to use it for insert operation like this we have to use the update also so this should be commit transaction
here before inserting the data we have to check if id is 0 then we are going to insert the data else we have to update the data this is going to be insert and here we are going to write update query for update also I will use the begin trend and if it is successfully updated then we are going to commit the transaction here I am going to write update query update employees set here we have to update each field value I can copy it from here here I can make it equal to and here I have to pass at the rate and also we have to pass where condition here where ID is at the rate ID so this is the ID which we will receive from the user if it is a fresh entry then we will receive as 0 so that time we will insert new record if id is greater than 0 that means user is trying to update the data so in that case we are going to call this update query select the stored procedure and execute it so stored procedure created now we will refresh it here so our stored procedure is created now we are going to test this for that I will use stored procedure name I will go to the new query execute before that we will check how many records available in the table so currently we have four records we are going to insert new record first we will insert the new record here for that id will be 0 then I have to pass first name here then we have to pass date of birth So this is the integer so I am passing without any single quotes then wherever there is a string we are passing in the single quote date also we have to pass it in single quote this is float so we are directly passing the value I will select and I will execute this so one row affected that means one row is inserted here execute so this new record is inserted here so like this we will try to update the data so I am going to update this record which is having ID 1007 ID I am passing as 1007 so I am going to update this 1007 here select the query execute it one row affected I am going to execute it again 1007 this data is updated perfectly and also we can check one more thing here before updating whether that 
id which is passed by the user is valid or not for that we can check here we will declare one local variable row count it is integer i am setting as default value 0 i will check that id is valid or not so i will take the count of records valid id then we will receive the count as one since this is a primary key we will be having one record with this id which is passed by the user so if there is no record we will get output as zero so if row count is greater than zero then only we have to update otherwise we no need to execute this query at all so i will check here if row count is greater than zero then only it should come to this block I'll alter this stored procedure execute so like this we can use single stored procedures to perform the insert or update operations